Hello Youtubers, I have a nice interesting little story for you for today. The last Saturday when I went with my father to Belgrade with this uh, Hotel Slavia where we joined the, the Antiquity Expo which is organized every Saturday in Hotel Slavia on the first floor. My father went uh, away for some few 10-15 minutes and I stayed there on the table guarding the the stuff what he brought with him I usually I help him to carry the the, bag, the bags with, with this old stuff so while I was uh, sitting and looking around a very nice uh, dark skinned lady came by around with her son and uh, her son was looking everything he was very interesting interested in, in all the stuff not only our on our table but looking around on every table and he wanted to touch things and then the mother stopped him and and uh, while she was talking to to uh, him i could not understand uh, what language she was talking to him i was guessing spanish or portuguese or, or, or some some latin language because i speak uh, english russian hungarian and serbian but i could not <coughs> understand but they went by, they went by, they did not stop, they went around in the, in the hall and then when she arrived second time to our table then I asked her in English if she could please tell me uh, what language she is talking and where, from where she is coming from and then she stopped and she was very kind uh, and uh, in a happy mood and then she started the story she said that uh, she is a Me she is a Mexican. She born in Mexico, and uh, but uh, she is living in in Australia, in Sydney. I said, "Wow, from Australia, Sydney, coming to Serbia. It's a quite a quite a long travel." And she was smiling. Yeah, it's. Uh, she said it's okay. She said now it is very easy to travel from Australia to Serbia because you can go from, for example, back, backward, like you go from Belgrade to Abu Dhabi, it's five hours travel, and then from Abu Dhabi to Sydney, straight, direct flight, uh, 15 hours. So it is 20, 21 hours of traveling all through from Serbia to Australia. I said, that's a quite, a, quite a big travel. I asked her, do you have some family members or something in, in Serbia? She said, no, no. She said she came to buy a house. I said, buy a house in Serbia? Yes, she said, yes. The houses are very cheap and the people are very good. The food is very tasty. I said, yeah, the food is, it is very tasty. That's definitely true. Wherever you go in Vojvodina or in Serbia, in small places, big places, the food is extremely tasty. So whoever uh, would like to come to Serbia and never been here he is really very welcome because the food is extremely tasty wherever you go and then she said that uh, yeah they bought a house and then I was wondering I asked her do you have a husband from from Serbia or from ex-Yugoslavian republics in there in, Aus in Australia she said no no and then I was even more surprised so a lady, a Mexican lady living in Australia, she traveled across the globe and come to this almost black hole of Serbia. I mean, I don't want to say that everything is bad here, but you know, the situation in Serbia, in compared with uh, all the other countries in Europe, I mean, it is quite, quite low. And then she said, oh, in Serbia, everything is so extremely cheap in compared with all the other uh, countries in Europe. So yeah, they find a house, a, a little, little beautiful house, and they bought it. And then they made some little rearrangements, some little renewing, some rooms, painting, and then they like it very much here. 
the people are very friendly. Uh, she said, now in Australia is winter and it is very cold and then in Serbia is hot and very nice weather. So they come here and they enjoy during summertime being in Serbia. I said, so how cold is in Australia? She said, 10 degrees of Celsius. So I said, okay. And then she was very happy and uh, I was so surprised that a lady just bumped down, you know, in Serbia and buying a house here. I mean, this is quite, uh, quite something, quite something. And then, uh, because she was with her son and the little boy, the boy was very, very open and looking around, very interested about everything, very brilliant, just by uh, his eye and his, his face expressions. And then I asked her if, if he is speaking English. And the little boy came and he started to speak fluent English. And then the mother said, oh yes, she's, he speaks uh, Russian and Spanish and I, think, I guess French also. I said, wow. <laughs> and the boy was only, I don't know, four or five. So she's, he spoke uh, four languages, fluent, the boy. That was fantastic. So that was an incredible little experience, you know in Belgrade, just next to the table where I was sitting and listening all this huge travel and buying a house in Serbia, a complete foreigner. And then she said that, oh, now they already have friends and, and they enjoy it very much here. And so it was very super. And then she shook my hand and she told me her name. And then she went away with her son and they were very cheerful, cheerfully walking away. And uh, I had this uh, little beautiful story about this Australian Mexican lady who came to buy a house in Serbia. So I wanted to just to share with you this story. If you like the, the videos what you find on my channel, please like, share and subscribe for the channel for some more stories and some more fun videos. Thank you very much and all the best to all.